are back with Today Food Loves Football. As we mentioned, the Bengals taking on the Ravens Sunday night. If you are looking for the perfect spread for the big game, we got it here. Joining us is Carolina Santos Nieves. She's the executive chef of American Bar right here in New York, the culinary director of the Grand Tour Hospitality. Chef, what are we cooking up? It smells so good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mm. So we're going to do a French dip. French dip. And then we're going to do, down there, crispy artichokes. Uh, uh, fingerling potatoes with a parsley aioli. But first, we're going to start here. Okay, the yeah. cut of meat is the most important, isn't it's it? Very true. What? This is a filet. We're going to, let's pepper oh, it. Let's pepper season it, salt it a little it. bit. Okay. And some salt? Yeah, add some salt. Go heavy or yeah, just yeah. Go, heavy, go heavy. Go okay, heavy. Go heavy. I like that. Sure. Pat it down. Do it on the other do side. Do it on the other side. Let's like that. Wipe our hand a wipe little our bit. Wipe hands. Okay. Pat it down. Then I take this guy. Put it in there. Right in your cast iron. Yep. So oh, you want to make it. sure this is pretty hot. Mm. You know you want to get a nice sear, a nice mm. crust. Okay. Uh, basically, we're going to cook this to medium rare. Is what I think is ideal. Yes. Uh, to like 130. Okay. Right. So um, you just flip, flip. We're going to flip. flip. So we're going to like I would say like two minutes on okay, each side. Okay. Two minutes on each side. Yeah. We'll fast forward. Yeah, we'll fast forward. Leave it oh. hanging out over here. Over here, we we're essentially going to make an opaz sauce, which is the dipping sauce for this delicious okay. French dip. Okay. And so we have these peppercorns. Yeah. You want to you want to yeah. do this? What do you do? <laughs> you smash them. You're going to smash them. You You're bang gonna, it. You kind of got to. Yeah. You have fun. Have fun. There you go. There you go. You got it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. It's fun. Okay. Right, now yeah. what do you do with so all we're gonna, that? So we're going to grab, let's grab a few. Okay. And we're going to toss it into this saute pan. Okay. We have a little butter going here. Mm -hmm. So we want to drop those in there. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah, keep keep cooking that. You're doing an so amazing good. job. Dying. Okay. Uh, so we have the peppercorn and yeah. the butter here. Uh-huh. We want to add a little whiskey. Whiskey? Does it burn off or no? It does burn off. Okay. We're not going to go do a whole flambe okay. here, but we're going to add a little bit. Woo. Well, okay. okay. We're just gonna add All a little right. bit. Yeah. And then we're gonna add a little bit of beef stock. Beef stock. We would reduce that. Okay. Then we would add a little bit of heavy cream. Yeah. Reduce that as well. All right. And then why not ha add a little butter? Okay. Right? Now. So. We're make, should we make our sandwich up? We're making our sandwich. Okay. We got mm. baguette. Mm -hmm. We got butter. Mm. We're gonna layer some beef. Yeah. We're gonna put on some. Uh, okay. A little some cheese. onion. A little. A little, little cheese, onion. A little, a little onion. A little cheese. And we Look have. Look at that. Sweet. Guys, how is oh the God. sandwich? Let's start with the sandwich. So how are we doing over there? Fantastic. This aioli you yeah? should bottle. What, what kind so. of cheese do you put We're doing there? Swiss, but you know what? You can even do a white cheddar. We would put this in. heat it? We heat it. Yeah. We put it in a uh, okay. uh, broiler for 450. And Go then you it. dunk it in your special Go. sauce? Go, you got it. Girl, yes. come on. Yes, yes. <laughs> mm. What do you think? Mm. What do you think? You into it? I didn't say. We only have a minute. All right, let's. OK, we're going to go parsley aioli over here. Mm. So this is for the crispy artichoke. We have four whole eggs. We have four egg yolks. Oh my gosh! Wow. We'll basically blend that. Mm -hmm. uh, we would turn this on. Add a little uh, canola oil or grape okay. seed oil. Okay. Add a little parsley. Okay. Keep blending. Now we're gonna fry it all up. And we're gonna fry it all up. Okay. We would cut these in half. These little guys, which mm -hmm. are parboiled in mm. some salt water. That's we're gonna add this into some canola oil. Let's be careful here. Ooh, so you probably just, don't do what I'm doing right now. Okay. okay <laughs> and some we have, artichokes. And the artichokes. So now you dunk them in the aioli. Is it Ooh. thick? Wait, I want to try. I want to put it on everything. Oh. Try it. Well, oh what, do what do you everything. think? What do you think? Go. Oh. We did it! Find all the recipes and more today.com so slash food. Don't miss Sunday night's class. Clash between the Bengals and the Ravens. NBC and Peacock. Coverage starts at 7 o'clock. Thank you. We love you. Before the break, we introduce you to Chef Tammy Treadwell, the force of nature behind the Harlem Seafood Soul Truck. Confession, Jen and I fell in love. Uh, she recently dropped by to make us one of her most popular dishes. Check it out. Tammy, you're making your famous po' boy sandwich for us. And Jen and I were saying in the piece earlier, you, it's not, you don't just make a sandwich. No. There's like love somehow infused in your food. It's layered all in. Well, how do you do that? You it's, just do it? Let me just tell you something. Tell me. You don't want a sandwich you, that you just can't feel it. Yeah. You're supposed to feel, feel it. it. Yeah. So when you take that first yeah. bite, what we happened? have that garlic aioli. Mm. We have the fresh baked bread. Mm. And then we use only wild-caught shrimp and Ooh. fish. So it, it, the star of the show is the seafood. Yes. Right. So we want you to enjoy that. And I've had, you know, some really seasoned po' boy eaters, and they leave Harlem Seafood uh -huh. Soul. I know one. Let me tell you something. I've I eaten know many a po' boy in New Orleans. 
And the, this po' boy is top of the heap. Now, you got black gloves on. That's because you're going to yes. be handling Yes, okay, tell us what because we should do. Because you're going to be handling. Like, the first okay. thing you have, you have some really beautiful jumbo shrimp yeah. here. And you always devein it. And we double devein. Double. double. And then we somewhat butterfly it. It's that my way of being able to take a look at it and make sure it's done when my okay. prep people are done with it. What you so we're there? gonna batter that up in some good old fashioned corn flour. Yeah. Oh, plain old. Right? Do you need to put it in oil first or We're no? gonna heat this oil to about 350. Okay. And then we've already have some batter for the TV people okay. in the world. And then we're just gonna drop that. Oh, now, wow. this, I mean, is gonna... this is important though, because overcooking yeah. shrimp is or no bueno. No good, no bueno so at how do you all. Know? So what you're gonna do is you listen. My grandmother okay. taught me how to cook by okay, listening. When it's bubbling loud like that, there's a lot of moisture yes. inside. Okay. It still hasn't cooked yet. But when it gets quiet, okay, let's wait, let's wait. it's going to get quiet, and you're going to hear, that's that old school. You're going to hear a minute. All of these bubbles are going to go down lightly. And this is the way you fry chicken, too. Yeah. Really? You listen you to listen it. You listen to it. That's that old school. We didn't have all these timers and stuff, my no, grandmother and them. knew about timers. None of that business. No. And you see how it's just, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's just quiet. and it's just beautifully golden. So it's just beautifully good. You don't want to overcook fish, it. Same the thing? same with fish. Look at that. You see how quiet it is? So when you is? just hear it a little bit quieter, you start to take it out, That's right? when you take it out, and you're going to make sure that it's crispy oh. and so it's golden. The, so you let all the all the oil, oil drip through. So if you're using a good oil, it's not going to really absorb. You want to use like a grapeseed or a canola oil or, or canola. maybe like you. a... You know, E V O O. I'm, I'm look a, I'm how a beautiful big, look that, that is, Tammy. Come on. You see now, that? Tammy, we got to eat some of this. Uh -huh. I think the special, the special is in the sauce. Yeah, the, the special aioli. Yes. Is the garlic the aioli. aioli. How right. do you make it? So let's go over here to the garlic mm. aioli. This oh is God. like a really, really good heavy mayo. Mm, I love mayo. And you can substitute it for a vegan mayo. You can substitute for an mm -hmm. olive oil mm -hmm. mayo. Mm -hmm. I switch it up sometimes. And then you have a roasted garlic paste. So like three. Cloves of garlic, you just roast it. Do you in the make oven. you make that? Yes. Uh -huh. It's just and roasted just garlic. Mix it in. And the, the fresh roasted garlic is what does the trick. Mm -hmm. And you just mix that in. And then you take some uh, parsley. Mm -hmm. I don't have a whole lot of time for fresh parsley yeah. all the time. But it rehydrates. So that's you just, just dry parsley. That's dry parsley. It rehydrates in the mayo. Mm. All right? And you're going to just really give that a good whip. And just whip it up. By the I, way, now. I got Angela Bassett muscles. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you just keep going until it's nice and incorporated. You see that? Mm -hmm. now, this, now, the portion is what's important. Yeah, this, I this think I got something way. off, unfortunately, when okay. we were making Show it. Remember, I put the yes. tomatoes on Jenna, the wrong side. you know side what rest. happens? What? People, especially Show, us New Yorkers, we want our bread lathered. Okay. We don't want to see any naked parts of mm -hmm. the bread. So uh -huh. we want to make sure we get that on there on really, really good. On both sides or one on side? On both sides. Go. See, I think both I was too light sides. on the mayo, but well, not yes. here. When your bread is slathered on both sides, you know it's good. Okay. Do you uh, toast the bun or you don't? We don't toast no, the bun because it. that, you know, it, it kind of takes away from you want you, it to the, the star of the yeah. show. The yeah. star is the yeah. fish. So then I have a system. The hmm. bottom side of the bread, we're going to put a little shredded lettuce. Uh -huh. Just very lightly because we don't want to overpower anything. Yeah. And then we're going to take some so half moon tomatoes on the, other side. On the other. upside of the bread. Uh, Everybody knows this. Okay. And then we're going to layer this Look with at that shrimp. Two. Yeah. Boom. Oh, you, put a, you, oh, you make it real And then shrimpy. we're going to put it. Yes. You want it shrimpy. Of course you, you do. You don't want a shrimp poor boy with half, no shrimp. Oh, my gosh. Look, look at, at that. that. Here, Jenna, come down. Okay. So now we have. This. Hold on. Go ahead, shrimp Jenna. I'm going to eat this one. Okay, let's do it right. together. One. Cheers, uh, Tammy. We love you. Cheers, and I love you right back. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, oh my God. Oh, get, it. Uh -oh. get in it. Get in it. Mm -hmm. It's just dripping. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. If I may say so myself. It is amazing, and you <laughs> may say so. Mm -hmm. Tammy, you're an amazing person. Jen and I are we so privileged you. that we got to meet you and visit with you. You have a great food truck and a great life. And it's so fun to see people lining up on Line that up, corner. Baby. You are your inspiration. Thank you. Get this recipe. Go to today.com slash food. By the way, she, our pal Tammy, is expanding beyond Harlem. She's opening up at another location at the Williamsburg Market in Brooklyn. Oh, she's she's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's break out the big hair and the leggings because we are traveling back to the 80s. We all know celebrity chef Adam Richman from Man vs. Food. Well, now he has a new show on the History Channel. It's genius. It's called Adam Eats the 80s. I'm here for it. He's here to tell us all about it and put his spin 
on a French dip for us. Adam, good morning to you. Good, good morning. morning to both of you. What made you decide to want to eat your way through the 80s? Like this whole concept. Yeah, what's like 80s food? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, it, it was a decade that shaped this nation. It shaped us in terms of technology. Yeah. Uh, things like the microwave, having latchkey kids. See, I was a latchkey kid. And kids, so when, same. when you guys said that, I was like, oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. But also, you know, the cool thing about this show is that we not only get a chance to explore some of the big brands that grew in the 80s, like Panda Express, Cinnabon, yeah. mm -hmm. that exploded onto the scene. I was walking around the mall. Exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we do mall culture, but also we get a chance to recreate some of the flavors that disappeared, like Keebler's Magic Middles cookies oh, or good. Bonkers, so the good. OG beef, frat, oh beef fat McDonald's French fries. Oh, right. So we recreate some of the stuff that, that people miss oh, as well. I was thinking, like, what was in my lunchbox? All right, so we are making your spin on a French dip. It's a chicken French Frances dip. Francaise dip. Francaise dip, yes, <laughs> basically. Well, that was a, a big dish in the 80s. We mm -hmm. have some cutlets. Um, they usually come pretty out, but you can pound them thin. Um, you can use a mallet, but you don't want to pound so you can see the cutting board through it because okay. that's over pounding. Okay. Right. So we season with salt and pepper. We have some pre-pounded cutlets here and uh, similar to what we did before. There you go. Oh, using Rep the tongs. Yes. Exactly. Well, like a pro. I figured yeah. I'd touch something else and somebody would say, you Exactly. Right exactly. You just have the white dress on, so that's, I'm worried about oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> so we have some oil. We've added some butter to it. Okay. And we've, you put some garlic in there to infuse it. Now what we do is drop it in the egg. Okay. And the garlic back out, right? You take the garlic out, right? We don't want to let it burn. Okay. We just want to infuse the flavor, and then from there, right into the oil. So this is oil and butter. Oil and butter, exactly. Okay. We'll let that enough. go for about, it's okay, we'll let that go for about three minutes. Okay. When those are done, we take them out, but we want to leave all that in there. And there's stuff called fond. It's those little brown bits mm. at the bottom of the pan. Right. And Later. that is where, you, exactly, your beautiful wooden spoon's going to come in. Okay. So much like Zendaya in Euphoria, we're going to have a roux. <laughs> and you see how I did that? Very topical. Yes, very yes. topical. I'm just so, talking about Euphoria. Okay. Exactly. So okay. we're going to add some flour, and that's going to be the backbone of the sauce. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that it incorporates, gets a nice sort of nutty color. Mm -hmm. And then once this is properly incorporated, and again, be careful if you're doing this with kids. You don't want to be right over right. the mm -hmm. pan. But we're going to add some white wine. You can use Chardonnay, Sauvignon mm -hmm. Blanc, plain old cooking wine. Okay. Even just the smell of this. It smells delicious. Thank you. So it's two <laughs> minutes. It all cooks off. The juice of two lemons, which is the backbone of any chicken française. Okay. Once mm -hmm. this is all incorporated, we're going to add the cutlets back to it. So ah. we'll use, uh, we'll take these guys, we'll throw them right in. Now what Thank does this so do, much. this this extra layer here, this extra process? Is that what gives it the kick? Like it also makes it softer. It helps it melt in all your right. mouth and infuses all that Flames flavor into in it. Okay. So we'll do five minutes each side. Once they're finished, we have our sauce. So let's slide down towards making I the finished product. I noticed you have lemons floating in here. Yes, yeah, so this one I fully cop. I stole from the great Contessa herself, Ina hey. Garten. <laughs> you can take lemon and you can actually use the zest to get the oil. This mm -hmm. white part is called pith and it's very bitter. Okay. Um, I, I don't have a lisp instead of dirty words. <laughs> but you can actually just put the lemon sort of shell side oh. down, if you will, and infuse that oil. Oh, nice. We have some brioche that we've toasted with a little oh, bit of butter. We can start so constructing. Build it. Okay. Yep. So we'll That's take fine. one of these cutlets. We'll dunk it in the... Uh, We'll use this sauce oh for the gosh, time being. Okay. So this Imagine. is our au jus. This is our au jus, exactly. Okay. This is au jus and this is au jus. <laughs> exactly right. So we're going to have our cutlet. Then we're going to dress it up with a cornichon, otherwise known as gherkins or little mm -hmm. pickles. Yeah, so man. we're going to put these guys right Why on does top. A little pickle have so many names. Right? It's so weird for just such a little <laughs> thing. And then we're going to top you. it with a slice of honey ham. I like a little Ooh, bit of that sweetness. Gosh. Some watercress on top of it. It feels very nostalgic in 80s also. Oh, my gosh. Of course. Absolutely. Ooh. Ooh, what and are then we doing? a little bit of drizzle of the oh, au jus on oh, top. Nice. And then you have oh your Frances dip, and you can even use the leftover yeah, just, like, for dipping. Dip right Absolutely. Here. I would okay, love to bite. share one with you. Cheers, and guys. You can dunk, dip as oh, you cheers. will. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. There you go. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, okay. my goodness. Right? Where were you when I was in Latchkey? <laughs> exactly. We just need a new Coke. Yeah. We need a new Coke. And it's <laughs> the Stoker's oh, so Link Cuisine. Oh, my God. And we are right in the 80s. We're good to go. Adam and every best. sandwich should come with a dip. Oh. All right. Thank you so, so much, good. Adam. I love you guys. For this recipe, head to today.com slash food. And check out Adam Eats the 80s and the Food That Built America Sunday nights on the History Channel. We'll be right back. So good. I won't double dip. I'll flip. I'll